in this video we've got right circular cylinder again formula related right circular cylinder is what we'll be doing in this video so we've got a right circular cylinder here all the data that we need as far as the right circular cylinder is concerned is the radius of the circular ends that it's got that is the r and then the height between them that is h so h and r are the only two data that we need to find all the other things related to right circular cylinder so so for a right circular cylinder of base radius r and height h we have area of each end as area of each end or area of the base is anybody's guess without any doubt because it's just pi r squared because you know it's like pretty circular i mean it is very much circular so the area of a circular thing is going to be pi r squared so no surprises here so no complexities here so it's just pi r square square units that's all there is here very simple one this let's see what's the next one the next one is a curved surface area just like we did the other 3d figure you know like cube and cuboid we had this total surface area right so as far as this is concerned we cannot take the total surface area i mean we can take the total surface area but before we take the total surface area there is another thing called a curved surface area apart from the bases or the ends we've got this body which is curved right so we just need to find only that the curved surface area so what is that now the curved surface area is given by 2 pi r h that's all there is so 2 pi r h is the curved surface area of a right circular cylinder 2 pi r h square units it is of course so the next one comes the total surface area now the total surface area includes the curved surface area and the two ends as well the two areas also i mean the two circular areas as well so that's the total surface area the total surface area is nothing but the addition of 2 pi r h and 2 times pi r square which is nothing but 2 pi r times h plus r square units so this is the formula to find the total surface area of a right circular cylinder then we've got the volume the volume of the right circular cylinder how much can it hold what is the quantity can it hold of anything so that volume is given by the area of the circle and then how much height does it have how much how long does it go so it's nothing but pi r square h cubic units so if you want to find the volume of a right circular cylinder then use this formula to find it so that's all this ends this video which in which we've covered about the formula related to right circular cylinder this this should be pretty sufficient to solve most of the problems based on a right circular cylinder so i'll see you in the forthcoming videos with a formula related to right circular hollow cylinder this is a solid cylinder right so i'll see you in the video in which we will cover about a right circular hollow cylinder